everyone, Ashley with Amare here. So today we're gonna to talk about what actually happens in a lymph drainage session. So we know that manual lymph drainage is extremely, extremely gentle. It's this very, very subtle light pumping motion. That's it. It's not pressure. It's not rubbing through the body. It's this very, very, very gentle motion all over the body. So what happens when you come in? Well, you fill out the forms and you're coming in for manual lymph drainage. So we're gonna do exactly that with the technique. We wanna drink lots of water before the session, first and foremost, and lots of water afterwards. We want the body to be hydrated. Lymph drainage is made up of primarily fluid, which is water. So the more water you drink, the easier it is to get that fluid out of you. Lymph drainage is meant for detox, so for everyone, whether you are healthy or if you have an autoimmune or if if you're dealing with post-op, whatever it is that we're having lymph drainage for, we want to make sure we're getting that water out of us and detoxing and cleansing. So water is the number one thing before, during, and after your sessions. So you come in, you fill out the paperwork, you take your shoes off, put them on the rug, and then you are fully clothed the entire session. So you don't take off your clothes. If you're post-op, you're in a bra and underwear or just underwear if you're a guy or you're in your compression garment. But for a normal healthy person, you stay fully clothed. Shorts and a t-shirt or a t-shirt and pants like leggings or sweatpants, something like that, comfy clothes, fully clothed. So we wanna hit all of the lymph vessels and lymph nodes in the body. So our biggest lymph nodes are in our neck, our armpits, and our hips. So we're gonna start with the same lymph drainage motion right on the neck, and then we're gonna go down to the clavicle. Then we're gonna open up in the armpits right underneath, and then we're gonna open up in the hips right on the top of the thighs, and then we'll do across the chest, just like this, down the sides, on both sides of the body. And then we'll do the top of the arms and then the legs. So from all the way and then all the way from the toes up to the hips. Then we flip you over and we work across the upper back, across the lower back and up the back of the legs so that everything is draining into those big lymph nodes and into your blood. From your blood, that blood gets filters through the kidneys and all of that stuff, the toxins and the excess lymph fluid comes out in your urine and goes away. So once it's out of you, it's out of you. Lymph only has one pathway. For more about manual lymphatic drainage, we have another video in our little talks series, but today is just about what happens during the session. So what can you expect to feel? Not really anything. It's super, super gentle. Again, the lymph vessels are only a hair thick. So you're not really gonna feel much. It's a very, very subtle modality. It's very gentle. So in terms of side effects, so you're going to be going to the bathroom a lot more because we're getting all this fluid out of us. You might be a little bit more tired because your organs are working a little bit harder to process the excess toxins and fluid. And you might just feel a little bit more like groggy almost. But if you're drinking lots of water, you really won't feel that. Your body's just working extra hard and it's very open and all that fluid is coming out of it. So you're definitely going to want to rest. You're definitely going to want to take a nap. But there's not really anything you could avoid or should avoid. Going to the gym, working out after a lymph drainage session is perfect. We want to get the body moving so that that lymph and all of the fluids and toxins inside of us are up and moving out. So again, not really anything you should avoid except maybe salt or eating foods that aren't really good for you, things that are going to toxify you. Again, you want to stick on the healthy path. So have a good, big, healthy lunch, a nice big salad afterwards. Have lots and lots and lots of water. Go for a walk or a hike. Um, maybe go exercise, do some yoga, take a nap, do all the self-care stuff. And the lymph drainage is working through you from 24 to 48 hours. So those lymph vessels, after we dilate them and open the tissues to suck that fluid back into the body, they stay that way for 24 to 48 hours. So anything after that, the lymph system is calming back down but within those two days we want to be drinking lots of water eating lots of greens lots of healthy stuff and getting tons of sleep so again nice and simple it's a very subtle modality it's super gentle you're not really gonna feel much and that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions please feel free to DM me or send us an email or check us out online or give us a call again check out those other videos in the little talk series about our plastic surgery recovery clinic and what exactly MLD is more in depth on the anatomy of it and what it does and how it works in the body hope to see you guys soon thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful please feel free to share it have a great day guys Bye.